start off with what you're going to need. I'm going to be using an old honey gel, which obviously I've cleaned, and then I'm going to be using some different permanent markers. I'm going to be using quite a few different colours, but before we do any of that, we're just going to stick this down onto the mat. I'm going to be using a little bit of blue tack, and this is where the permanent markers come in hand. They're really easy to wipe off. So if you mess up, it's fine. You can either use your fingers or a cotton bud to wipe it away, but this is what we're going to do to get that stained glass effect. To start everything off, I'm going to be using a black permanent marker and then I'm going to start outlining that rose pattern that you see at the beginning of the original film. I'm also going to do a circle and then around that circle later on we're going to start layering up some plaster. If you're not too sure what you're drawing, because it can be quite hard drawing on something transparent, is just put a white piece of paper underneath so that the contrast will help. I'm going to finish off that outline. And once I've done that, I'm going to start colouring in. For the petals, I'm going to be using a few different colours, some pinks, one red. Mainly for the moment, we're going to be using the pinks. So a light pink, a mid-tone pink, and then more of a dark fuchsia colour. But then afterwards, I'm going to be taking a red, and I'm going to be using this on the edges. So I'm just going to start at the bottom, go around a little bit, and then to blend it out, because it is a little hard to blend out with these on the glass, I'm just going to be doing little dots. This part is a little bit harder because it does require having a steady hand. At the moment my hands are quite shaky, so this part wasn't the easiest. But what you need to do is take that black permanent marker which you've already used to outline everything and then go over it with a glue gun. Ideally go over this with a black glue stick, but I only had brown so that's what I used. And then later on I'm going to be darkening this either with nail varnish or with a permanent marker, though in this case I want to use a permanent marker. If you get any of those glue webs, don't worry. just take some tweezers and pull them away so that you can neaten everything up and then after that I'm going to mix some plaster of Paris and this is stone powder it's the kind of stuff that you use for face casting and then I'm going to be applying this around the edges and I want this to be in something which is a white powder because then all that light is going to be reflected inside the glass back out and it's going to make it look much prettier than if I used a darker stone powder now over that glue gun I'm going to be using a permanent marker spray painting everything to fix it and then that's it that's how you make the stained glass rose window <laughs> 